Hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I'll be going over the details of the long-awaited Summer Sale 2021 for War Thunder. I'll go over when it runs from, what the deals are, what vehicles are coming back for purchase that may have been removed in the past, and finally, I'll give you two short lists of vehicles I feel are the best purchases to make in both the bundles and with individual vehicles. That being said, please like, comment, and subscribe, especially as that really helps my channel so, so much. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So to start, the Summer Sale 2020 run runs from June 23rd at 11 o'clock GMT to June 30th at 11 o'clock GMT. The discounts, at least for now, will only be for premium pack vehicles, meaning that you will have to purchase these vehicles from their online store if you'd like to participate in this sale. No vehicles that cost GE or Silver Lions are counted in this sale. Further, no premium time or GE will be on sale, well, for a lower amount of money. But with that out of the way, let's get into what is on sale. With the exception of Red Sky's related content, ergo the SU7 BMK and the F5C, both of which I have reviews for linked below, every pack that Gaijin has online is for sale, including air, ground, naval, and even beginner's packs. These individual packs are on sale for 30% off. Certain bundles, however, as you see here, are on sale for 50% off and represent the greatest savings. These bundles include two packs each, which themselves typically contain a vehicle, premium time, and golden eagles. Basically, if you purchase a bundle, you'll get the full benefits of two individual packs, albeit at a much reduced cost to you. So you're getting all that GE, premium time, and the vehicle for a relatively great deal. In addition to this, some vehicles are coming back for sale that Gaijin has removed at one point or another in the past, specifically the P38K and the LA11. These are only available if you purchase the bundles in which they come, as they are not for individual sale. Importantly, if you already own any of the vehicles in any given bundle, you'll only be charged for the other vehicle in that bundle. The great thing about this is that despite basically purchasing a single vehicle, if you purchase a bundle in which you already have one of the vehicles, the single vehicle that you are purchasing will be still 50% off. Basically, you get an extra 20% off rather than just selecting the vehicle by itself. So as you can see from this example, I have the XM1 already, but have not purchased the AVA-A, which makes the XM1 slash AVA-A bundle only cost $30 USD. Whereas if I were to purchase the AVA-8 bundle by itself from the vehicles tab rather than the special offers tab, I'd end up spending quite a bit more money, at least relatively speaking. So with that out of the way, I'll go over my list of my top five bundles to purchase and then give you a list of my top five individual vehicles in which to target. I'll give both because many people just simply don't want to spend the extra cash to purchase a full bundle, which I totally understand. That said, for the bundle list, Number five, I'll go with the Vautour 2A and Super AMX 30 pack. This is a great and simple top tier combo. If playing ground RB, you have two great vehicles that as of right now are the same BR and play in a very old school way. They're both solid and can get the job done. There's no frills with the and with the Vautour, you have one of the best bombing close air support planes up through really top tier. Just a really good pack overall, and relatively friendly to people with a little bit less experience, let's just say that. This bundle could be replaced by the Fiat G91 R4 and OF40 Mark II MTCA bundle if you have more experience and or prefer Italian vehicles. For number 4, we have the Yak38 and T55 AM1 bundle. This is a great bundle, but what kind of takes it down a notch from being higher on this list is that the Yak38 is a higher BR than the T55 AM1 by a pretty decent margin, which means that if you want to use the Yak38 as a close air support plane, the T55 AM1 will be in a constant up tier. While it's good in up tiers, it isn't quite as good in those situations as the higher ranked vehicles in this list. That said, for number three, we have the AV-8A Harrier and the XM-1 GM. This is a bit of a toss-up with the T-55 AM-1 bundle, but I feel that the AV-8A is sufficiently better over the Yak-38, where it, along with the XM-1, uh, also being excellent at its BR, puts it over the top. This is a great combo for top tier ground battles or high tier ground battles, but with most other high tier premiums, something that you should really look at if you're really just more advanced in War Thunder. I can tell you that I personally struggled mightily when I purchased the XM1 uh, when I first purchased it, and that was after years of experience and when it was actually at a lower BR than it is now. Also, again, 
the XM1 is a little bit better in an up tier, and it's also a higher BR than the T55 AM1, which kind of lends to it being a little bit better, of course, obviously in a higher tier. Now for number two on the list, we have the German Fiat G91 R4 and the Leopard A1 A1 L44. Now, although the Leopard A1 A1 L44 isn't quite the best high tier premium tank, it's pretty close to it. I'd say it's actually just below the XM1, uh, but really the only thing limiting this is its armor, but that won't really matter if you can stay hidden as its cannon is amazing no matter who you fight. Its cannon is actually substantially better than what you get on the uh, XM1 and thus lends to this being a more advanced player's tank. Now, the thing that sets this pack apart from the XM1 AV8A pack is that the Fiat F91 or G91 is also one of the best close air support vehicles in game better than the AV8A by a pretty good margin which makes this an amazing combo if you're looking for a one-two punch with high tier ground forces and to be good or to be fair here the G91 is also pretty good in air battles as well if you prefer that I'd say the AV8A is a little bit better in air battles than the G91 but again insofar as close air support is concerned for ground battles G91 by a long shot. And for number one, as you probably could have guessed, the Black Shark and the T72 AV Terms T, which is just <laughs> obvious. Um, any day of the week, I would pick this. This is the best bundle in game with the best premium helicopter and the best premium tank currently available in War Thunder. You really can't get much better than this. Personally, if you're new to War Thunder, I'd say to maybe consider purchasing something a little bit lower tier than this, like the T55 AM1 or Object 120, or even better yet, the King Tiger pack but that's really up to you. I mention it because historically speaking, new people to the game struggle massively at top tier, even with vehicles as powerful as the Black Shark and Terms. I even actually have a whole video about this link below if you want my reasoning behind it. Also, helicopters can be a little bit difficult to get into, especially if you're a brand new player to the game. So just bear that in mind. If you really want to get into top tier vehicles, maybe just get the T-72 by itself. But again, I mean, if you have any level of experience, you will dominate with this combo easily. And now finally, I'll go over the individual vehicle packs I think that you should consider purchasing, uh, and it's slightly different than the bundle pack. So for number five, we have the Object 120, and for me, I think that's really just an old school vehicle, and it can more or less pen through almost anything that it fights. And it's at a slightly higher tier, so relatively newish players should be used to playing this type of vehicle. And again, it's at a higher tier, so you can use it for a pretty long time, and it's really potent. For number four, we have the King Tiger pack, and along with the Object 120, this is a relatively inexpensive vehicle and is good at its BR for the Germans, and can help you to grind out a large portion of the great German ground tech tree. For number three, we have the T-55 AM1. This is one of the most dominant tanks at its BR, and it has good armor and advanced weaponry. Just quite simply, it's a solid choice to pick. For number two, this one split with the XM1 and the Leopard A1 A1 L44. I'd say that both options are excellent here, but really depend on what you prefer, which is why I kind of split them. The XM1 is the better overall vehicle, but again, as mentioned, the bundle list, if you're confident in your ability to not be hit, the Leopard is the better choice. I have a full comparison and review of both vehicles linked below if you want a better idea, but the XM1 is more mobile and has better armor, whereas the A1 A1 L44 has a substantially better cannon even though of course the xm1 has a pretty good cannon itself and finally if it wasn't obvious the terms is the number one vehicle on this list it is absolutely dominant and will take over nearly every match that it's in it could easily be a 10.0 br vehicle but it still sits at 9.7 this thing is a beast also if you prefer helicopters the black shark is the number one helicopter available on this list although the apache pack is also pretty good also, as an honorable mention, I like the Centurion ARVE, but in my opinion, it can be difficult for a new person to aim due to the massive shell drop. Seriously, it's ridiculous. Try it out in test drive if you do not believe me. Just really look at that before you decide to purchase this vehicle or not. But either way, that about does it for my coverage of the sale. Please tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Remember to also like and subscribe as both those things help out tremendously. But that said, thanks again, guys, and I will see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.